hello everyone welcome to this video this is going to be a very short video but in this one i want to discuss how you can uh, integrate some of the it service management solution that you have which is called the itsm tools with something called the it service management connector that is available from azure now this may you may not have heard this name it service management they're really the tools that if you're familiar with the cmdb or you know um, uh, uh, service now service manager so those are the tools that are used to manage uh, it assets and and work on them and create the workflow like if you have problem with one of the it assets maybe a server is down you can create tickets if you need to have a server you can create our idms uh, if you need immediate attention create incident ticket assign priority when it's done you can close the ticket you can assign SLA all that kind of stuff right so if you go to the next page uh, so what you can do like as you monitor and log analytics okay we fix uh, the spelling <coughs> with these two <coughs> you can really monitor uh, many different kind of resources <coughs> doesn't matter whether it is in on the cloud or uh, it's uh, on-prem okay and you can use log analytics to send the data send alerts and all that kind of stuff right uh, but where if you find a problem how are you going to respond to it so Microsoft Azure there is a feature called ITSM tool that you can create an instance and it offers connection and then you can connect to the on-prem ITSM2 that you use and then it creates a bi-directional connection between Azure and the ITSM so what it means say uh, let's open a pane I don't know if I already have it open I'll just create a new one and uh, what I'll do so here say uh, you have Azure product okay and <laughs> that's a cloud by the way and here is your on-prem okay so you have as your monitor and uh, you have log analytics so you are monitoring and you creating all the alerts that cloud is the worst cloud in the history of mankind anyway so and the other thing that you have in on your on-prem you use service now okay service now uh, you may be using the ser service manager okay as well so that's an application web application that is hosted someplace could be in your on-prem as well so what the ITSM connector does it creates a connection where anytime it's detecting that something is going on something is wrong and need attention it will create some kind of ticket okay so that is the first way so you are sending your data to the service now or service manager or any other supported uh, ITSM tool and then people will come and they're gonna work on it fix the problem update the ticket and you can then send this data back to uh, the log analytics as well so both connection is possible so let's go back now and uh, all I need to say there are four different connectors that are currently supported uh, that are service now uh, ser system center service manager which I told, told you about province and chairwell okay so there are three general steps that you need to do and we'll do probably the first step will complete and I'll show you the second uh, step as well third one uh, you have to do I don't have any active connection to any service now at the moment that I can use for the demo uh, but you can definitely get a service now account also for free and try it out but I'll show you how to create the connection and uh, get you help you get started okay so three important things you get your connection then uh, uh, add, add the connector create the connection and use the connection okay so simple so let's go back and uh, go to our portal so I think I should be fine over even over here so let's do 
portal.azure.com and let's see if I can log in maybe already logged okay I'm already logged in and what you need to do come over here go to create a new resource and in the marketplace IT IT service management connector that's what I actually wanted to search for so if you search it so it it's uh, gonna come up and you can read a little bit of it what it is the IT service management connector solution enables you to provide faster resolution of incidents by binding service desk and monitoring data together it provides a bi-directional connection between Azure and supported ITSM2 and here it is again service now service center service manager province and chair with this solution you can create an incident event and alert in your service desk solution based on alerts from Azure or log records in Azure log analytics sync incident data from your service desk solution with Azure log analytics and correlate with relevant log data sync data request data from your service desk with Azure log analytics uh, see your services incidents against affected resources in service map solution uh, So a lot of features after installing the solution you will need to create a connection to link your ITSM2 Okay, so here is a, a Quick graphic as well how it would look like so the first thing is to create so just hit on create and You need a log analytics workspace uh, for this. Okay, so if I click on it uh, you can use one of the existing one if you have one or you can create a new workspace so just create a new one uh, new ITSM workspace okay uh, resource group you can use one of the existing one or use uh, one you can create a new one uh, say new ITSM resource group okay so you can also do that location whatever you prefer pre as you go is good uh, looks like it's the only one available so hit ok so once you hit ok it should go ahead and create this log analytics workspace for us and it will link back to the IT service management connector uh, once that's done we should be able to create an instance of the log analytics uh, of the IT service management connector and uh, as soon as it's done we'll configure it yeah it's uh, like so now the log analytics workspace is now ready so now I'm creating and once you create it's actually started the deployment of this particular ITSM connector okay so that's the deployment is going on and it says the deployment is successful so let's go to the resource so if you come to the resource uh, just review uh, general what it is resource group status active east us uh, workspace name uh, management operation operation logs so solution service desk that's what it is okay so if you look at over here service desk uh, new it smws is that's the name of it okay now if you come over here there are a whole bunch of things we don't need to look at all of that in this video all i need to show you is how to connect now to your ITSM solution and to do that you have to come back and come down to the workspace data sources blade and click on the ITSM connections and right now you see I have nothing here so if you click add now here is where you have to configure everything so if you have service now I'll just click gonna call it service now now partner type I'm gonna choose service now and here we're gonna we're gonna put the service now URL and everything test dot test is uh, saying valid URL I don't have any URL so really I'm not gonna uh, show anything for you but uh, if you have your service now instance and you have the username and password client ID client secret those are the uh, four things that you need to create the connection okay and here uh, they're also saying what are the type of uh, incidents that you can connect and sync uh, it says incident and change equals those are two very common tasks within a service uh, service uh, service now uh, implementation so you can use both of them 
uh, to, to with this particular feature okay so now go back over here so if you if you had chosen uh, not the service now but the service service center manager you will see you will have a similar type of option you still need a URL uh, where your service manager is hosting again a client ID a client secret and data sync scope in days there is something else that you have to do and again incident change request both of them are supported so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you I don't have any connection unfortunately so I cannot do the next phase of it but definitely if you have one uh, please go ahead and, and work with it and uh, and see if it's working for you nicely or not all right that's all I wanted to cover in this video if you like this one please subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and please leave your valuable comments so I can improve the quality of the videos that I'm making for everyone thank you and have a great day